Hello and welcome to Pegasus. Pegasus is a system for driving objects through your scenes. Typically you'd use Pegasus to create fly-throughs and cutscenes and you can also use Pegasus to drive any object. In this example not only will I create a fly-through but I'll also drive a character through the scene. So there are two main ways you can create a Pegasus in your scene. You can add a Pegasus capture object which will capture your playback at runtime or you can add a Pegasus manager object which you can use to create your playthrough in the editor mode. So let's add a Pegasus capture and hit play. So what that does is gives us a little reticule which shows us exactly where the camera is pointing in our scene. So let's go back over here. Now this is something I created earlier using Gaia, Gina and CTS. Let's start here and to capture a point of interest, which is a spot which Pegasus will fly through on payback, you hit the P button. And then we move forward a bit, hit P again, move forward a bit more, hit P. There's a rather cool little knight and then move forward and maybe look over here and then move forward and get our camera here. And we'll just do a cool little sort of fairly fast fly through down this path from our little outpost. Through to our scene. And then when we get there, we'll have a look at some of the cool stuff that's here. Hopefully what you're getting a sense of is that it's actually quite easy to use. So let's go over here and have a look at this little well as we fly around. And then maybe let's go and look at that building. And maybe look at this building and do a bit of a fly through towards this building. And now as we sort of pan around, maybe we'll lift ourselves up a bit and keep that flight up going. Cool. Now what you can also see in the background is Pegasus has given us a visualization of where our fly through is. Sweet. Now let's have a look at the Pegasus Capture doing its magic. So we created fly through here. Here is our object. So to create that Pegasus, we we'll just hit create Pegasus. And it's actually created the fly through for us. Now to play it back, we just hit the play button. Now the default playback speed is quite fast. But it gives you a sense of how quickly and how easy it is to create very high quality fly throughs for your cutscenes or maybe for your videos. Have a look at that well as we go past, then we have a look at that building there and then we start to head over to this new building, or this old building I should say. And there we've got it, quite a nice fly through. All right. So we're going to turn those off and now we're going to create one manually and this time we we'll use it to take our character through our scene. So here's our little knight. This is a free PBR knight from the asset store and I'll create another Pegasus and this time we'll do it manually. So we'll add our Pegasus manager and we'll just click on our terrain. Now what's actually happened here is Pegasus manager by default thinks that it's driving a camera through the scene but we're going to drive a character. So I'll set my height above the terrain to zero meters. And then I'll just set my point of interest to that height. And I'll also make the gizmo a bit smaller. Just depending on what you're doing, you'll do these things in different ways. Then I'll just go and add my different points of interest. Now you notice as I'm doing this that it's actually creating a looped fly through. 
I'm going to make this a single shot. So it's just going to go on the path that I take it. It's not going to come back. And this time we're creating a path for our little soldier to go through our scene. You've got quite a bit of control there. You can dodge the boulders. Now, if you've ever done this manually, it's quite a lot of work. So there we go. We've got our fly through for our soldier. Now, by default, Pegasus is going to pick up the main camera. But we don't want the main camera. We want our little soldier here. So we click on our Pegasus and we drag him onto it and it renames the Pegasus to show you what it's actually controlling. So we also need to add in our mechanism controller for our little soldier. So we just grab our Pegasus animator and drag him on there. And then we've got to set it up. We just drag ourselves onto the character. We drag the animator onto the character. I've already set this animator up with the Pegasus animator controller. And we'll set our first animation to be walking. Now, by default, we give you some standard animations, so idle, walk, and run. And you can override these with your own animations, and you can also change the relative speeds at which idle, walking, and running kicks in. So we'll go back to our Pegasus. So that's all we had to do for setup. And we can visualize where our little character would go. So we can go visualize and scrub through. We can do this with any Pegasus, by the way. And by default, Pegasus will do its fly through at 25 meters per second, which if you're going through a fairly large amount of area, that's fairly fast. But our, our typical running speed is about eight meters a second. So I'm gonna use my little global set speed. And what that'll do, it'll set the speed of all of the different points of interest. So we've got our speed at eight meters a second, but I want to start him walking before I start him running. So I'll set the speed of our first point of interest to say two meters a second, and then two, and then two. So what we should find is that he will walk and then he'll run. So let's just bring him back to the start here. There he is, and let's play this. So he starts walking and then he's running, making quite a quick clip through our scene here. And away he goes. So that's a very quick and easy way to add some interest into your scenes. All right, so I'll do one more thing. We'll leave a night to do his thing. I'm going to go back to my main camera, drive through, and turn that back on. And I'll actually, I'll just start him off a little bit slower as well. So let's set its speed to say slow, and then medium. Yeah, that'll do. So it, we'll start a bit slower with our camera, and then we'll speed up. Let's just run that, and then I'll show you the difference that banking makes to the fly through. So we're running two Pegasus at the same time at the moment. Pegasus is quite happy to do that. So there's goes our guy. So we're following him along. And then there we go through the rest of our scene. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on auto bank. This is a really cool little feature that I added in the latest version of Pegasus. So I'll switch auto roll on. And just to give you a sense, before I do that, all these Z values in a rotation are zero. By switching auto roll, we're simulating as if you were rolling into a turn when you're on a motorbike, for example. So we'll click that. And we'll hit play again and just see how this changes the, the sense of speed that we get with the playback.
So as we start to go around the corners, the camera will start to give you a slight bit of roll and gives you a slight sense of speed. Now it's quite subtle there, we can make that a more extreme. So let's do that. The average speed through here is about eight meters a second. Let's go into our roll settings. So our maximum roll speed, let's kick that in at eight meters a second. And at eight meters a second, we're gonna get a, a roll angle of up to 15 degrees. Let's just make that a little bit more pronounced just to show the concept. And then just run this again. So basically what will happen is at eight meters a second, um, and based on the degree of turn, see what we're getting is a bit of turn and roll on the camera there. The more turn you have in your Pegasus fly through, the more roll you'll get. And if you're doing, say, a, you know, a motorbike or a spaceship or something, it looks quite cool. Alright, thank you very much for watching.